So, a couple of months ago, I got into the world of sim racing haptics. I purchased two Dayton Audio BST1 bass shakers, a Knob Sound Mini amplifier, and with about 150 bucks, I basically got an insane amount of immersion in return. I absolutely love my DIY butt kicker system. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you check out this video up here because it's really gonna help you understand what it is that I'm talking about and it is also going to help you get your own. But if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering something that I was wondering myself a month ago. Out of the programs that we can use to manage our bass shakers, which one is better? Now, there's two options in general. You've got SimHub, which is a third-party program which allows you to tweak the settings of your bass shakers, or you can use the built-in iRacing LFE function. And in this video, I want to tell you which one I enjoyed the most, what the pros and cons are of each, and what my recommendation would be in terms of whether to use LFE or SimHub. As always, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it informative, or if it has helped you, please consider leaving a like, consider subscribing, and let me know any and all feedback in the comments. Let's get into it. To start off, let's look at the technical difference between SimHub and LFE. So SimHub is a third-party app, and essentially it reads iRacing telemetry data and uses that data to trigger a tunable vibration effect iRacing LFE, on the other hand, is built into iRacing and has direct access to the iRacing physics engine, so the vibrations and the effects that you feel should be a one-to-one -one representation of what is happening in the simulator's physics. So the first and the main benefit of SimHub is that it allows a multi-channel setup. So basically that means that you can have up to eight individual localized base shakers on your rig and they can all be fed vibrations individually. So you see setups out there that have uh, four base shakers or five even, like one for each corner of the rig, uh, representing each wheel, and then one underneath or behind uh, the seat. Being able to feel localized vibrations either at the front or at the back or on the sides of your rig only is really really great for immersion. Therefore SimHub is highly customizable and you can customize your channel map um, to a really great extent. You can customize how much power you want each one of your channels to have. There's uh, more effects um, compared to uh, iRacing LFE as well, and each effect itself is highly customizable. So you can change the frequency of the vibration, you can uh, uh, set certain effects to have priority over others, and many other customizations per effect and per channel. You can even add your own custom effects, and I've never done that before, so I don't know much about that, but I know that it's a possibility. The cons of SimHub are mainly the fact that it really requires more tuning and more testing than LFE. Um, it doesn't have the most user-friendly interface, although I don't want to scare you away from it. It's actually not that difficult to set up, and I have a video on this, and you can check that out. Uh, top right corner of the video, it's linked out right now. But essentially, with SimHub, it really helps to understand frequencies. It really helps to understand like what each effect does and how to tune it. It's not really ready to go outside of the box, so to speak. And uh, finally, to me, the effects on SimHub feel more standard than the effects on LFE. And what I mean by that is uh, if you go over a rumble strip, doesn't matter your speed doesn't really matter what type of rumble strip they'll they will all more or less feel very similar um and i basically just feel less variety in the way in which each effect feels compared to lfe now uh, let's move over to lfe so the pros of lfe uh pretty much opposite to simob is that it's plug and play Super easy to set up, all you have to do is head to the miscellaneous tab of your iRacing settings and just hit the enable LFE 
check mark and choose your source. Um, so the effects to me feel more natural and the effect quality is better on LFE, albeit maybe not um, super significantly, but I can feel the difference. And I think that this is due to the fact that LFE is using the physics engine directly from iRacing uh, rather than using uh, telemetry the way that SimHub does. So this also means that the intensity of each effect actually changes depending on your speed. And so the effects to me just feel more natural and a bit more precise on LFE. Finally, LFE is extremely easy to tune. You've got your list of effects and all you gotta do is set the volume for each effect depending on how intense you want it to be. Moving on to the cons of LFE, and this is really a big one. Unfortunately, LFE is single channel only. So it doesn't matter if you're running two or four or six or eight base shakers, if you're using LFE, they will all get triggered at the same time, which is absolutely not ideal for localized effects. There's minimal customization on LFE. I mean, this is also not really a huge con because you don't really need customization per se if it's using the physics engine information in order to uh, do the vibrations uh, but still uh, on SimHub you can customize much more and there's also uh, slightly fewer effects on LFE compared to SimHub. Now I know that I promised to tell you which one is better. The truth is that it depends. It depends on your base shaker or butt kicker setup how many you're running, it also may depend on which types of effect you would like to use, and it also kind of depends on how much time you want to spend setting this thing up. But one thing that I realized is that due to the fact that their pros and their cons are pretty much exactly the opposite, the best option may just be to use both. That's right, technically if you don't want to, you don't have to choose. You can actually run both in parallel. So let me show you how I use both LFE and uh, SimHub on at the same time. And just for some context, for those of you who don't know, I am currently running a two channel setup with a bass shaker right underneath my seat. That is the rear channel and a bass shaker right underneath my front pedal plate sitting between my pedals and that is the front channel. As the user of a two channel setup, I could simply not part ways with SimHub. So what I do in my setup is I use SimHub only for localized effects. So things like road impacts, road rumble, road vibration and wheels lock. For instance, I don't wanna feel my front two wheels locking underneath my seat. I want to feel that underneath my pedals. So for that, I use SimHub. Um, same thing with road impacts. If I hit uh, something with my front uh, right wheel or my front left wheel, I don't want to feel that under my seat. I should feel that at the front. To enable that, SimHub is the way. You can find out whether a effect is localized or centralized by reading the description of each effect on SimHub. As you can see, it's explained there. You can also see it by looking at the little green squares that are next to the effect name on SimHub. That'll show you if it's a front and back effect or if it's an effect which can be tuned to up to four channels, such as for road, vi such as for road vibration and wheels lock. I do make one exception, however, and that's the ABS active effect. So as you can see by the big green square next to ABS active, that means that within SimHub, ABS active is a single channel effect. Now, I still use a SimHub to replicate this effect because I do not want to feel the activation of my ABS underneath my seat. I want to feel it only underneath my pedals. And so I have set up on uh, SimHub to only send the ABS active effect to the bass shaker underneath my pedals, which in practice localizes the effect only to my front channel. However, for effects that are not localized, then I think that LFE is the better option. And so I tune my centralized effects 
to be taken care of by LFE. Centralized effects are felt throughout your entire rig and so through all of your channels at the same time. Whether it's at the front or at the back, things like engine vibration or gear shifts or the rev limiter effect are nice to just be felt throughout your rig and for this reason, due to the fact that the effect quality to me feels a bit nicer on LFE and a bit more varied and natural on LFE, I prefer to set these types of effects on LFE because in this case channel doesn't really matter. But once again there is an exception. Wheel slip in theory is a localized effect, however I prefer to use the wheel slip effect on LFE. So I have compared the wheel slip effect quite extensively on my system in between LFE and Simhub and Overall, I prefer it on LFE and that's also due to the fact that I don't really feel a big difference when it comes to using this effect with a single channel or with a double channel. Uh, even on a sim hub with a double channel, this effect more or less feels uh, centralized and so since on LFE uh, the effect itself feels a bit more precise and uh, just feels a bit more natural. I prefer it and so I have set wheel slip to work with LFE. And so after multiple tests, I would conclude that my favorite setting between LFE and Simhub is to just use both and to use LFE for centralized effects, use Simhub for localized effects and this way you're benefiting from that extra bit of quality that comes with the LFE effects whilst also enjoying the double channels and the localization allowed by Simhub. Ever since setting it up this way, driving has felt super immersive and I do not see myself going back to either individual system. But please do not forget that this is just a personal preference. Basically, just do whatever feels best for you. Nonetheless, I do hope that this video has given you at least the information that you can use to make a decision as to what kind of system you want to go with. And if it has, please consider subscribing, consider leaving a like, and let me know any and all feedback in the comments. As always guys, my name is Lorenzo, this is LDFR Sim Racing. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I really, really hope to see you in the next one. Take care, guys.